in this real life example we'll look at a sales commission so Maria earns a base monthly salary of sixteen hundred dollars plus two point four percent commission on her total sales if her monthly pay is two thousand five hundred twelve dollars what were her sales that month okay so again you could probably figure this out with a calculator somehow and that would probably be easier but we're going to do it by algebra just because um, just because it's good practice for setting up an equation okay so again like I say I always like to pick a number like well 10 is a good number I guess but in this case we might want to pick the number 100 okay so just write down the number 100 okay so I always use 10 or under a thousand just to figure out um, just to figure out the, the equation to begin with so what we're looking for if we read this again the monthly salary is 1600 so no matter what even if she sells nothing she gets 1600 okay now it's 2.4 percent commission right so her monthly pay is 2512 what were her sales that month so I'm going to use the number 100 in this case for sales just for fun just to help me set up the equation okay so we're going to say look her sales were hundred dollars what was her pay okay so her pay was how much if her sales was hundred dollars what was her pay so can you figure that out So what are we going to do with the $1,600? That's a base monthly salary, okay? A base monthly salary. That means she gets 1600 no matter what, okay? So she gets that plus. So she'll get $1,600 plus commission, okay? Now the commission is 2.4% on the total sales. So the commission is 2.4% of $100 okay now can you turn 2.4 percent into a decimal okay, you, might, you might remember from your arithmetic class that to turn a percent to a decimal you move the decimal point two spots to the left okay and so the decimal point will be here and we got to stick a zero in front of that as well so this is going to become point zero two four isn't it or 0 0.024 so we turn the percent to a decimal now what does of mean? of means what? of means multiply, so we're going to multiply by the hundred dollars so that's how we get 2.4 percent of a hundred okay we'll see more of this later so so don't worry about it just just this is just this in this one example in any case um, if the sales her sales is a hundred dollars so you get the sixteen hundred for sure, right? Plus the commission, which is in this case 0 0.024 times 100. Now, if you take this decimal and multiply it by 100, what do you get? Well, if you multiply that by 100, you'd actually get back to 2.4, funny enough. Okay? Anyway, I just made it up. Just, just a made up example, right? But, um,. Uh, and then her total uh, in, in, for this example her total pay would be sixteen hundred and two dollars forty cent okay so she didn't get a whole lot for just selling a hundred dollars worth of stuff she just got two dollars forty cents that's not much right so she needs to sell a lot of stuff to get a, a, a decent amount of money to take home okay in any case that was her sales with a hundred dollars so she, when she had sales of a hundred dollars the hundred went here if she had sales of X dollars where would the X go so her pay would be if she sold X amount right of her sales were X amount of dollars her pay would be 1600 plus the 0 0.024 right times X does that make sense times X right and we want to know what would her sales be if her total monthly pay was 2512 so what would the sales be 
if this was 2512. Okay. So just again, I made up the hundred dollars just for fun, just so we could practice and, and try to understand what this thing is all about. And now we're going to figure out for X. So the X is unknown. The total sales is the total pay is two thousand five hundred twelve. And if we solve this equation, we should have our her or the answer. Okay. So what would you do first here? Right. Well, you'd subtract 1600 from both sides, wouldn't you? What would you get? 0.024x equals, and this would give 912. Okay. Then we divide both sides by 0.024, and um, I don't blame you for using a calculator here. Um, but I'm not going to because I think you know arithmetic is is uh, important. So I'm going to turn the bottom into a whole number, and um, going to do that by multiplying it by a thousand. Of course, I, I don't mind if you use a calculator on this one. That's not a big deal in your homework. But I'm going to do it by arithmetic anyway, just because I, I think it's good to see and at least see a, one or two examples of arithmetic. Okay, so this times a thousand would be twenty four, and that times a thousand would just be nine one two zero zero zero. Okay, um, I'm sure I can divide four into the top. So in any case, four into twenty four goes six times. Four into nine goes twice and one over. Four into eleven goes twice and three over. Four into thirty two goes eight times, and then four into zero and zero zero goes goes that many times. And uh, I'm going to guess that 6 is going to work as well. 6 into 6 goes 1 time. 6 into 22 goes uh, 3 times, remainder 4. And 6 into 48 goes 8 times. And 6 into the zeros just goes 0 times. So I get 38,000 over 1. So in any case, we end up with x equals 38,000. And like I said, I don't mind if you use a calculator here. That's no big deal. It's only one, the odd example. So, when she had sales of $100, just for fun, we figured out her, her monthly income was uh, $1,602.40. But when she had sales of X dollars, or 38000 we figured out that her sales, that that is the answer. And her, her monthly pay would have been 2512 And of course, if we check that, and of course, you can just check this in the calculator if you want. But 1600 plus 0 0.024 times... 38,000 will indeed equal 2,512.